Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm doing a video called First or Worst, where I'm going to be talking about two palette series where I do not own the first or number one palette in the series, and I have absolutely no plans to ever pick it up. So before we jump into the video, don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like these kinds of videos, and if you want to see any more of my content, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and then the little bell icon right next to it so you're notified whenever I post a new video. So the first series that I'm going to be talking about today is actually the one that inspired this video, and that is the Naked series. I have every other Naked palette except for the first one. I have the Naked 2, which is actually one of my first higher-end palettes ever. I got this back in 2015. I also have the Naked Heat that I picked up last year. Absolutely adore this palette as well. I have the Naked 3 downstairs. Uh, we actually share that palette, my grandmother and I do, so that one's downstairs in her vanity. But I've never felt inspired. I've never felt like I needed the first palette. But I know like once you get into these palette series, the urge to just have them all is just so strong, so strong. But I'm here to say, if it's a palette you don't feel inspired by, if it's one where you look at it and you see like there's a lot more shimmers than I ever think that I'm really going to need, that you're ever going to use, you don't have to pick it up just because you have the rest of the series. You can still have a complete collection, you can still enjoy and use your collection without having every single naked palette. If you only like palette two, get the two. If you only like the third one, get the third one. If you only like the heat, get the heat. I know when I finally started doing my collection, there was a little nagging voice in the back of my head that said, you know what, you you should have all the palettes. You should have the collection. You should know if, even if it's not for your own personal use, you should know about it, you know? But you, you don't have to. You really don't have to. I don't have to go out and buy the original Naked just because everyone and their mother used to talk about it on YouTube and because everyone says like, oh, you need this palette, you need it. I've walked by it in stores, I've swatched it, I've looked at it online, I've put it in my cart and then taken it out of my cart. I don't need it. I really don't and it's not a palette that I'm going to use so I am just fine with my collection of the Naked 2, the Naked 3, and the Naked Heat without the original Naked palette. The second palette series that I'm going to be talking about today is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar series. I currently have the Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar which I believe was the second palette in this series. This was the first palette that I picked up really enjoy it, love all the shades, love the blendability. I really like the formula in here. I have the Too Faced Chocolate Gold palette, which was kind of an impulse purchase a few months ago, but I do enjoy this palette. I do love that little sparkly green right there in the corner. I love, except for like the neutrals over here in the corner, I love all the shimmers in this palette. I also have plans to pick up the Semi Sweet. Is that what it, no, it's called the Bon Bons. The Semi Sweet is the, the second one. I also have plans to pick up the Bon Bons palette which is like their more cool toned palette because it looks beautiful like I love how they're all little heart shapes and I'm definitely going to pick that one up at one point but the one that I'm not going to be picking up is the original chocolate bar. I don't need it. I don't need it and I don't need to get into the collector's mindset of oh well you have the rest of them and you're gonna get the Bon Bons why not just get that one. You don't need it. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like, especially when it comes to the first palette in a series, I feel like for the most part, people tend to buy that one first because it comes out first and everyone's talking about it. I, I don't know if I'd say lucky, but I was lucky or fortunate enough to not have really gotten into makeup until a lot of these like holy grail products were already out for a while. So I could watch like more thorough reviews. It wasn't just like the hype, 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 oh, it's new, you have to get it, everyone's using it, blah, 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 blah you know, go. I came in later on. I missed out on a lot of good limited edition stuff, but some of the stuff that's still stuck around, I've been able to make a formed opinion on and decide for myself outside of the hype, you know, I don't really need this. So between the semi-sweet chocolate bar with all of these shades right here, between even my naked palettes, between the Bon Bon's palette that I will pick up at some point, between all of those, I don't need this palette. And I don't need to, you know, feel guilty or feel, you know, off about my collection just because I don't have the first palette in this line of palettes. If I'm enjoying the rest of the line and I look at this palette and I think, you know what, I'm not going to use it, I'm not going to enjoy it as much as these palettes, 
I don't need to pick it up just because it's in a series. And I feel like that's part of the entire marketing scheme around even having a palette series. It's to get you in that collector mindset. It's to get you to buy number one when it comes out, buy number two as soon as it comes out, buy number three as soon as it comes out. And if you come in late and you jump in and you buy number two, it's, oh, I love this one so much, I need to go buy one and three. You don't need it. You really don't need it. Watch reviews, look at swatches, really take an analysis of your own makeup style, your own makeup habits and really think critically what am i going to use and am i going to actually enjoy this palette as opposed to i need to buy this one i need to buy this one i need to buy this one so i can have the full family because you don't need the full family you really don't even though i mean even if you do get the full collection you're going to feel happy for all of like 10 minutes that they're on display and you've got them all next to each other but then after that you're stuck with some palettes where you might not even like some of the shades. You might not even like the palette. And what's the point of having a drawer of stuff that you don't even like? That's not what makeup's about. Makeup is about collecting. If you are a collector, you can be a minimalist and love makeup. All it is is about loving what you have and loving what you can do with it. All right, and that's it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you did, and I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye.